Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss a very very important programming problem and it's a frequently asked that is array problem to reverse an array. And we are going to see it in two ways. So let's get started. So I will just create one new class here which is array reverse. Okay. Alright, we have created the array reverse. I'm going to create a main method okay now we are going to create one array okay so array i'm going to create i'll just name it as arr and i'm going to put some values like 1 6 8 10 16 okay i have created one array now we need to reverse that particular array so this is the way one way one i am going to do and we will use the for loop for this so i will start the for loop don't worry i will also explain that how exactly it is working all right so i will just first write the code then i will explain it to you okay i will start with arr dot length minus one i should be greater than or equal to zero i plus plus okay all right then i will use this out and here we will print r r of i okay and we'll give some space in between okay now let me explain that how this thing is working okay so this is the array 1 6 8 10 and 16 and here in for loop we are starting from length minus 1 so array dot length will give us the 1 2 3 4 5 this is total 5 elements so array dot length will give us the 5 but index start from 0 that is why we are doing minus 1 so i will start from 4 okay and it will go till the 0 that is 0th index till here and sorry we are should not do i plus plus because we are going from behind so we need to do i minus minus okay so how exactly it will go it will go something like it will start from fourth index 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 four okay it will start from index four then i minus minus it will do fourth index then third then second then one then zeroth index okay so let me just print it and check how exactly it looks so it's asking to save okay all right as you can see i am printing 16 10 8 6 and 1 so if i want in one line i can do print f okay save it and then run it okay looks fine this is the way one now we are going to see way two okay way two when you are a little advanced in java in that case what we can do we can directly use some predefined methods okay so for that what we have is we have something called collection interface collections interface in java okay as soon as i type the collection interface i have imported that from here okay collections interface and i will do collections dot there are several methods available in collections interface and i am using the reverse and here you can see reverse takes one list okay so i will pass one list here currently we have an array so there is one class available in java which is arrays class it is also a part of collection framework so using that arrays dot see arrays if i'll type i need to import it using the arrays dot you it's inside the util package both are available in util package okay so arrays also have different methods so we need to convert array into list so we are using arrays dot as list okay and we are passing the array here so what exactly this line will do is this particular reverse method accepts one list and we have array so this particular line will convert an array to a list okay and collection dot reverse does not return anything so it will just convert that particular array whatever we are passing now what we can do is we will use for loop we'll use the enhance for loop we'll use int i and we'll use array name okay and then we'll do system out print ln and we'll do print i 
basically in hence for loop this particular i will contain one one element it does not contain index but rather it contains the element and this is the array okay so i and we'll also use some spaces here okay now let me check that let me first comment this so that we won't have any confusion here okay all right now let me run this now perfectly fine it is also printing if you want in one line what we can do is we can print it here okay if you want some spaces we'll give spaces here we'll run it and then boom this is fine so hope you have liked this video and every day i'm going to bring some important important java problems and i will upload it here on my channel so make sure you subscribe to this channel and if you do have any doubts you can comment and you can ask me i will help you within 24 hours so that is all for today's video thank you so much for watching and have a great day thank you